So this is your single leg hold movement stream. The rep target here is 60 seconds each side, but this can be broken into repetition. So for example, it could be six lots of 10 seconds, three lots of 20, two lots of 30, as long as you're accumulating that 60 seconds each side in one set, because 60 seconds all in one is pretty relentless. So what you can do is from that top position, move into the bottom hold position that you're working on, hold that for a prescribed period of time, control up, control back down again, and make sure you accumulate that full 60 before considering moving on to the next exercise. Before moving into this, you want to make sure you've got full ankle flexibility competence. So working through that ankle flexibility stream, making sure you get all the way through is vital before moving into this exercise stream. From there, the progression in depth and stability occurs throughout the course of these videos, these exercises. Obviously from the Swiss ball, gradually increasing the amount of depth that you perform. Um, and then working on to, you know, away from the Swiss pole, actually, you know, on the, on the floor with no supporting balance. And then you can also add further constraints such as bands, medicine balls and, and boxes to constrain your stability and position a little bit further. From a coaching standpoint, you want to be keeping the midline over the centre of the foot. All your weight is going to be through that one leg here. So obviously your leg's free off the floor. So the centre and the midline has to try and be over that centre of the foot. Um, you want to be minimizing tipping or side rotation so you don't want to be tipping over to one side or twisting your body the knee should travel straight over the middle two toes there should be full foot contact throughout and the movement should be smooth throughout as well so if you're following repetitions down and up you want to be keeping that nice and smooth on the way down and the way up again progressing once you're 100 percent competent with the 60 seconds or you know six lots of 10 for example and um, before thinking about moving on to the next exercise Generally, cues will be really simple. Sometimes we'll say stay over, and that will refer to keeping that knee staying over the center of the two toes, not drifting inwards or outwards. And we might say hold or steady. You know, if someone's starting to shake a little bit or lose a little bit of balance, that might be a cue that we might use as well. Nice and simple. So again, just coming back to the variations, it can be nice to get creative with the bands, um, helping further to challenge stability and require more muscles to work around the hips. So again, using objects like the boxes or steps, um, can just give you a clear idea of the depth that you want to be hitting. So if you know the box is there, if you're staying above it for X amount of time, you know where that depth is. And same thing with, in terms of distances as well. If you've got the band and you're doing the circles, you might want to place a water bottle or something to make sure that you're actually you know, hitting that full distance uh, in terms of how low that free leg is, is, is going, how far forward that free leg is going in relation to the floor. So these can be really fun and engaging ways of mixing up this exercise.